oil filter to the cooler and that's it for okay. all of them just we need to make the small one I put uh, the eight. short one or the yeah. short one work. yeah that one and the rest will work and then let's see that the long one too yeah this one yeah, and the another one this one goes to that one I think that one's gonna work it's all sad on the floor pan Oh, that cardboard? Yeah. You don't want me to stand on the cardboard? I mean, you can. I might have to remake it. <laughs> Somewhere it's fun. So I actually put the holes uh, in the rear hole. The oh. little rear hole, so you actually got another end back. Oh, oh. Then we can. Then we have forward. Just, just slide it forward. Just maybe actuator. Yeah. Get a. Can you get one of those one by two by three blocks and put it under the cardboard here? You know? Cool. So I think. Yeah, we'll have to do something on the gas pedal too. I think we might almost have to like uh, put like a pole in that scatter shield right where the throttle pedal bolt is or something. Okay. Shoot, yeah. Like on, for this front one? For this bolt right here. The pivot ball. Oh, just to let it pass through? Yeah, because okay. then we can get that much closer, right? Okay. Call it pretty much on there. Yeah, get on it. there. Get it. Okay. Yeah, I think we're going to have to trim this back to that well. Okay. And then I think we may have to add it there. Okay. Right? Mm -hmm. uh, and then same if we add that there. Yeah, I think we need to pull this over more. How far can we pull that thing? I mean, I guess we can pull as far as we this, want. I mean, it's, so, I got like a quarter inch between this and the and the wall now, but I can trim it more. Um, and How then, far are we from like this hole getting that inside hole like we talked about last night? Just putting this one here? Yeah. Um, you can move it, they're, they're about an inch and a quarter apart, inch and a half. Yeah. So I can, I can move it over quite a bit. I just don't want to have to shear into these dimples. But we can go over at least an inch and not shear into those dimples really, right? Yeah, it'd be just right at like the edge here. Yeah, because I mean... So we're, we're uh, hanging out right now. converting all-wheel drive. A little bit of things move. So we're trying to uh, make room in the pedal area right now and uh, we have a carrier bearing to step the drive line um, from the key case to the front diff around the second starter move the gas pedal over about an inch and a half so now we got to try and move the, the brake pedal and the dead pedal over as well so uh, it's getting a little tight and interesting in here probably not just because of the like the panel itself it's, it's not about the bolt it's the whole bracket I'm like trying to sight next to the flange yeah. yeah so maybe a quarter inch yeah because the driveline flange actually sticks out past, past this a little bit but I mean, do you feel cramped in here? So, I mean, my foot's a little bit more right. I mean, the only other thing is what if that wasn't so straight? Not bad, I just need to get the brake pedal further over, right? And the pad on it. Yeah, so I think if we trim that thing as much as possible, Bend over. That's how I feel right now. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, uh, 
I just gotta glass the other side of, of the the shit tomorrow. Okay. It's to back together. How's it? It looks pretty good. Pretty good. Okay. Sweet. That hood's not that great. Like it's thin in spots, thick in spots. It's like Tom. Here we go again. You just no. You I'm just talk talk letting it, you know. You talk it down so then when it's the finished products here, it just looks like Jesus did it. You know what I mean? I'm just letting you know. It's like. You know how when they're real teeny? Yeah. I tried to reinforce that center so it okay. would be better, but okay. it's thin as shit, dude. So. Do you think we should put like a, like a rib underneath that we've done before? Or like, you know, sometimes they do like a, almost like a, well, a diamond ribbon underneath? On the, the center section's gonna be good and stout. It's the, where the, the fenders wings. are. Yeah. Okay. And you, normally you do the pins on the front, right? Mm, oh, we have a couple pins on the front, yes. Okay. So just like this one. Yes. So, I mean, it'll have four hood pins up top, and two clips two on each front. side, and then one pin on each side in the front. Yeah, then you so, should be fine. Yeah. It's just what I'm saying. It's like, you know, usually these are, see how that's nice and thick? Yeah. This one's like doom, 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 Oh really? Doom, doom. Do you think harvesting is not like on a truck and thick here a little bit? No, I think it's thin. Oh, really? The other side doesn't do it. It's oh, just really? the one side. Put the paint on extra thick on that side. You have to. I just letting you know. So. Okay. It's what it is. The pins so, will help. It how, how it's light. Radius all good here. Yeah. Or just the hood? The hood's almost done. Oh really? Okay. The roof I did the first round. So now I just got to do the body work because okay. sand the glass back, mm -hmm. start spreading mud, and then do, okay. do the finished body work. I got it all trimmed. And... Okay. So you, I guess apparently the spindles are supposed to be done Monday. Oh, nice. So, so I mean it might. So do you want me to just do get the body work done this weekend and bring it and over? Then we can see. We can see where it is. I mean, I, I probably wouldn't say I can't grab the spindle until Tuesday. Best case scenario. Give or take, but but we might be able. But then to. that'll give me more time on the back end because you guys can mount it. We can maybe mount it sooner. And then later. we don't have to worry about ruining it. Ruining, it. yeah, we can do that. And I mean, what you could probably do is you could probably still paint the doors, and I can maybe use these doors to mount it, so it's still interchangeable, right? Yeah, you Does that could. Does make sense? Yeah, just paint it one color. Yes, that's no that's big deal. Easy. <coughs> the hood and the beds and the doors are the hardest. Right. Did you finish the quarter panels for that thing yet or no? They're wrapped, I just gotta spray them. Right. I just haven't had a move for Oh, okay. We're, like I said, we're super slammed too. You're I'm getting it done. Do, You're getting I'm it done. I'm doing that Monday. So. Okay. You got all those parts back. Yeah. Did you like see how big this is? Is it inch and a quarter, right? I mean, yeah. So there's your first encounter with Tom, our body guy. So basically what we had to come up with is we didn't have our spindles in time to figure out where the body needs to be and how wide the hood needs to be. So we had to take some drawings and some measurements and then just wing it. So we basically took this same hood and guesstimated that we need to be three inches wider is about where it should tuck in. We don't want to go too wide and have it look like an airplane, but um, by our measurements, we think it's going to be about three inches. So we literally just had him cut straight down the center of a brand new hood, widen it three inches, um, and then fix in, fill in all the fiberglass. So um, plan is to kind of keep going on that. So when the spindles do come, we're not two weeks behind the ball, at least the body work is in motion and hopefully it all works out. You got four people you need to take and you want your budget's about two grand and you need to make it from Vegas to have a two in the dirt. You want to sell your car? A couple grand? <laughs> Think it'll make it in the dirt to oh, have no, a two? Definitely. Yeah. All right, two grand. I'm a, we're going to make some calls, see what we can come up with. All right. All right. No worries, so late.
but <laughs> you want a couple bolts to put this in? challenges that we've faced with doing this conversion to four-wheel drive is trying to make the same body fit or at least the similar looking body so we've made a couple modifications to the body to accommodate the wider track width and also the longer wheelbase and we're trying to keep some of the panels interchangeable like this door and the bed sides are going to be the same door and bed sides and the roof may stay the same it may not as the spectrum so we're doing our best to try and keep things interchangeable just in case there's a problem during a race. We can take a panel off of one and put it on the other. So right now I'm just trying to see what will fit, what we need to change, modify, and so far it looks pretty good. It's probably made for me to do a half inch longer eyelet later. They don't make them yet, but yeah. Oh, okay. That would be what we would do, right? Okay. And then I think we might have to keep it forward just a little bit more. Yeah, we definitely need to come forward more. Sorry, the forward probably two inches right now. Yeah, that side. Yeah, this side is more forward than that side. Well, part of it is we could probably come up a little bit with the hood in the front, maybe. Okay. I mean, we don't want to go up in the front in the hood, but like if the front is where it's hitting, right? All you got to do, we just got to cut, cut like an oval out of the top of the hood and you just got to put a bubble up there. Yeah. <laughs> right, did I wake you from your nap? Are you sleeping or what? No, I just, when do you expect me to do that shit? I don't know, what are you doing right now? Can we coast the roof on there? Okay, we can get back I got to cut the roof though. Oh, you got to cut okay. the whole back of it because he didn't uh, trim the back of it. So trim the back, and then I don't know if you want to cut these things off. Okay. And then that might be the first thing you do is mounting these. Okay. To locate that. Okay. And then from there, maybe we can do these or do the bottom ones to kind of fit the door. Okay. Right. But trim the roof, fit the roof, glucose the roof onto here. Okay. Cut these off. Get it to sit where we're talking about, and then I would say do these kind of mount the door, and then we can figure out what we're going to do for the rest of the stuff, right? Uh, okay. Let's... So, um, a lot of the bodies, they come kind of in a generic shape and then you can trim them to fit your chassis, whether it be like, you know, one of these chassis where the tubes are a little bit higher off the back or, you know, another one where they, they come down. You can make them fit to any chassis. So, this one we usually try to fit as tight as we can but still make it easy to get it off and on so as I was just doing right now is cutting off the, the return off the bottom so we took about two and a half inches off just to uh, make clearance for the tubes that come out of the back of the chassis so we're gonna see how she fits nice ass <laughs> <laughs> 
Are you fast gazing now? <laughs> Have you upgraded from ball gazing to fast gazing? <laughs> from ball gazing to ass gazing. Well, you know what I mean. Well, I mean, at least it clears here. What, up where? On the front? Yeah. I mean, it's tucked in. It's gnarly. It needs to be out like that. So but it's going to hit still? Nah. Fuck okay. it. It's a full bump. What's that? It's a full bump, so. I'm trying to see you. Yes, I know. I know you guys missed me so much, so I think I decided to come back over. Yeah. Ready? Shoo, 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 shoo. Tom said he got this done by like this afternoon. Yeah. 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 Well, a little bit. That one was real. <laughs> we can't make it too bubbly, or else it'll lose like that modern square look, right? But take. Hey, a little bit of this angle out, right? Sucks. I mean, it's really hitting more right here. Right. This is like three quarters of an inch from here, right here. But you can do like a big ramp here. Mm -hmm. I hate to ramp. I mean, other option you could do here is to add the proper, would be to add, you know, three quarters of an inch here to this flange, you know, to this flatness. Bring it up and then bring that up so it all kind of looks. Perfect. If this if this door was trimmed, this little finger off this door, this thing would fold in more to get the roof better here. Okay. Yeah. yeah, you're like there right now. So it came down, whatever you did, will that roof fold over and 